very good morning to all welcome back to another session of your science class i hope you all are fine and taking proper care of your own life studies in our last video we discussed about heat transfer through convection in which particles of a medium actually move to the source of heat energy and then moves away from it after absorbing heat energy heat is carried by the molecules of the fluid from one place to another the circular motion that is set up in a fluid when warm fluid rises up and cooler fluid sinks is called a convection current we also discussed few practical applications of convection in our last video and in today's video we will discuss yet another very important application of convection that is sea breeze and land breeze sea breeze and land breeze which you may have studied in your previous class are a result of convection currents set up due to the uneven heating of land and water the water in the sea takes more time to heat up compared to the land as water is a bad conductor of heat as a result during day time the land heats up faster than water so in the course of a day the land will be hotter than the sea so that would mean the air above the land would be warmer than the air above the sea so the warm air is right over the land and cool air right over the sea now you should see we have different temperatures of air and from prior knowledge we have learned warm air particles become less dense and will float or rise in the atmosphere the warm or hot air expands and rises up and oppositely cool air becomes less dense and sinks hence we have warm rising air over the land and cool sinking air over the seas or ocean since warm air is leaving the area over the land it creates low pressure over the surface of the land let me try to make it more clear how low pressure is created over the land you see air is going away from the land that would take air particles away therefore there will be less air pressure on the land but over the seas the cool air is sinking down and that air is drawing air particles down creating an area of high pressure hence low pressure area is existing over the land as the warm air is leaving that space and across the sea there is an area of high pressure since we have high pressure air over the sea and low pressure air over the land the rule is high pressure air always moves towards the low pressure air and now we have a movement in air the cold air from the sea starts blowing towards the land giving rise to sea breeze during night the land as well as the sea lose heat however the land loses its heat more rapidly as compared to the sea thus the air above the land becomes colder 
than the sea hence we have the warm air over the sea and cool air over the land again the warm air above the sea expands and rises up the cool air over the land sinks and just as before if warm air is leaving an area it creates low pressure area over the sea and high pressure over the land and of course high pressure air moves towards the low pressure air thus the cold air from the land starts blowing towards the sea giving rise to the land breeze did you know that during the day the temperature in the desert is very high and it is very hot whereas at night the temperature is low and it is very cold have you wondered why it is so let us do an activity to find out after 2 hours touch the water and the sand what do you find which is warmer you will see that the sand is much warmer than the water let us do the same activity again but a bit differently this time keep the containers inside a room for about an hour what do you find which is cooler you will see that the sand is cooler than water so now we know that sand gets warmer faster than water it also cools faster than water thus this activity proves that sand warms up as well as cools down quickly this is why the days are hot and nights are cold in the desert area the differential heating and cooling of land and water surfaces has a great influence on the weather of a place let us learn how at the same time cool air which is above the sea moves towards the land to take the place of the warmer air that has risen thus wind blows from the sea towards land this wind is cool and pleasant and is called sea breeze at the same time the cool air over the land moves towards the sea to take the place of the warm air thus wind blows from land to sea such winds are dry and are called land breezes i hope this video made your concept enough clear about sea breeze and land breeze and that's all for today lastly the pdf link of notes is shared in the description box